this is an alloy wall anchor and it's really useful for fixing to plasterboard or, or drywall uh, they come in a few different shapes and sizes uh, at the bottom though you can see one that's suitable for fixing to thin plasterboard and the one at the top will be used for fixing to a wall that's quite a lot thicker if you try using that on a normal plasterboard wall it's not going to work because it'll only tighten up to about there so if you get a normal piece of plasterboard and use that fixing it's just not going to pull tight at all so it's important that you get the correct one and as you can see once that's screwed in there it will pull tight so I'm just going to give you a quick demo on that without to actually use them they are a good way of fixing to plasterboard these because they do actually leave the, the threaded hole behind afterwards if you pull the screw out which is very useful some other types of plasterboard fixing when you remove the screw the fixing tends to fall behind the cavity and you, you lose it but with this particular one it actually leaves a, a threaded hole for you to screw back into so they are pretty useful so I'll just give you a quick demonstration now of how to use them so let's say we wanted to fix this piece of wood to a plasterboard wall and we're just going to use the two walls here but what you do is put your piece of wood on get it somewhere near level and then just mark where the holes need to be you can use anything to press through here, you can even use a pen if you wanted and then we're just going to make a couple of holes here where the marks are obviously before drilling the hole you would check to make sure that there was no pipes or cables behind there and then once you've got your hole, if you just push your cavity wall fixing through it and then if you just look at the end here there's some little teeth so when you push that through the hole you have to push that so that the teeth bite into the plasterboard to stop it from spinning so once it's in, if you just tighten it up and then once you've tightened it fully you can then unscrew it and now you've got a permanently threaded hole in your plasterboard you can get a special tool actually for setting these but it, if you're only doing a couple it's, it's just as easy to do it this way you can also use a, a cordless drill to put these in if you find it easier so we'll just do the same with the other hole now and I've actually zoomed into the back there so that you can actually see what's happening when we tighten the screw up and this time I'll actually use my drill driver So we've got the two fixings in now So now all we need to do is put our piece of wood on and then just tighten the screws and of course when you remove the screws the fixings stay in the plasterboard so they are quite useful <laughs> 